And a very good morning to everybody here with me in a room. Uh, I would call you actually cyber entities. And if I'm thinking about it, it's very early on Saturday morning. So I'm actually super, super excited to see so many fresh faces. And I really do hope that uh, you're going to have a lot of fun with us here today. So I'm kicking off the event, uh, Cybercation, uh, which is the Nordic Baltic Educators Forum. And of course, also the side event of the Cyber Battle of Nordic Baltic uh, 2023. Our today's event is actually organized by the dynamic collaboration uh, of the Nordic Council of Ministers office in Estonia, and of course also very tech-savvy minds from the CTF technology as well. I'm going to be your moderator, Annette Numa, and I'm making sure today that all of you here would know every single little detail what's going to happen today, and I'm also making sure that our esteemed speakers are in a top-notch uh, shape, I would say, and they would also have a comfortable environment here to you talking about their experience uh, in, in different kind of fields. So uh, if you would ask me what you should prepare yourself for, um, then we, first of all, of course, have a very good lineup of, of speakers, keynote speakers, who will tell you uh, a lot about the secrets of uh, gamified ethical hacking uh, and how this is, of course, also transforming the way we uh, teach uh, cybersecurity, the rising stars of the uh, cyber world. We're going to also hear about what's happening in the military field and how do we get actually more younger, uh, like also the tech um, uh, minds there as well. And, and then, of course, also we'll be discovering global trends when it comes to the Nordic Baltic region in a larger uh, and life perspective as well. Uh, of course, also, as you can see, there is a lot of people here in the room that I would very much encourage to connect with, uh, between each other. Uh, we have coffee and, and, and tea as well here, some snacks uh, during the break. So do connect also with people here, because uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, during these kind of events, uh, you can make some very valuable connections as well. And of course, also uh, don't forget that in uh, downstairs, we also have the cyber battle of the Nordic Baltic 2023. I was here yesterday, uh, or sorry, I was here uh, a year ago. Uh, and uh, and I have to tell you, it was one of the most wonderful experiences, like entire room full of young people that are doing the ethical hacking and, and, and really finding the ways uh, how to get over of the cyber challenges as well. So I, I really, really recommend during the breaks to go down there and, and, and see what these young minds are, are doing. Uh, but uh, I wouldn't waste too much of a time uh, here. Uh, like I said, I, I'm going to be around here uh, the entire day and of course also introducing every single speaker here. But uh, without a further ado, I'm very, very happy to ask here uh, as for the opening remarks, uh, Maria Krutschman. Um, she's the uh, Nord director of the Nordic Council of Ministers office in Estonia and she will welcome you with the opening remarks. So Maria, I'm very happy to ask you to join me here on the stage. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Annette. And uh, it's great to be here. We have um, we have a great day ahead of us. Um, it's going to be super exciting. Um, but it's also taken a lot of greatness and excitement to get us where we are today. We really are in a digitalized world. Um, I think you all realize what it's taken to get us here, what level of innovation uh, has been required. Um, the way we live and the way we function today uh, is completely based on digitalized systems. Um, our power supply system, our fresh drinking water system, you know, we might think it's just water from the tap, but it does have a lot of digi di digitalization behind it for it to function today. Um, the way our government works, uh, the way our education system works, it's not just classes in a physical class loop, classroom anymore, is it? Um, maybe some of you have been to the doctor um, recently. Our medical records and the way hospitals are set up full of um, digitalized solutions. Um, today's broadcasting um, of this event would not be possible without um, digi solutions. So look, it's taken innovation uh, to get us where we are. Um, but since we rely so much on um, digitalized solutions, that's also where we're vulnerable. 
And this is the bad news. Anyone or anything who would like um, to do something to us which isn't full of good intentions, anyone with, you know, a bit of malicious intention, where would they, where would they try to hit? Well, they would hit things that we depend on, right? And a lot of that would be um, the digitalized solutions. Um, if, um, if we think about it this way, we see a lot of disinformation today. Look at Russia's illegal and unprovoked aggression against Ukraine. Uh, we see a conflict full of misinformation and disinformation. What does that do to our societies? That actually hurts our democracies. We want to have peaceful, inclusive democracies, but misinformation and disinformation is contributing to polarize our societies. We also see hacking, we see attacks to many of the daily systems that we de depend on. Now to the good news. We are all here because we're going to try to do something about this. We need to work together to prevent these things from happening. But we also need to up our game, because many of these hackers or, or those with malicious intent, they're one step ahead. They're super smart, and they're skilled. And we are struggling to keep up uh, with that speed. Um, but doing something um, is the best thing we can do. Uh, and that's why we're here. We are uh, here today to work with, in particular, young people and with educators. We really believe from the Nordic Council of Ministers that we need to work with people at an early stage. Starting with young people is, is, is a really good option. Uh, working with educators for the multiplying effect is also really important. We would like to see our region be the most integrated region by the year 2030. That's our vision. But if we are going to do that, and if we're going to succeed, we need to get smarter, and we need to get more skilled, and we need to build knowledge. As you all know, uh, digitalization, data, all these things, they don't respect borders. These things are crossing borders all the time. That's why we need to work together. It doesn't help if just one country does it, or one town, or one school. We need all of us uh, to be included. Um, otherwise, we will not really get anywhere. So we're here today. Um, we're going to do our part to try and up our game. Um, we're going to work really hard. Um, and we're going to get smarter, we're going to get more knowledgeable, we're going to get more skilled so that we can keep up and not just respond to when things happen, but actually prevent things from happening. Um, I'm very excited to be here, uh, and I'm particularly excited personally to see how the young people will be working and uh, in the battles and the games that we have set up for them. Um, I hope many of you would agree with me that um, we can learn a lot uh, from those who are younger than us. Uh, many of these things come so naturally to them uh, than perhaps to, to some of the older generations. Thank you so much, uh, everyone, for, for coming here. Thank you so much, CTF Tech, for working with us. And of course, uh, my own great team, um, our office here in Tartu, and uh, my colleague Grete, and uh, everyone around me uh, in my own um, organization, including our colleagues also traveling from, from Copenhagen. So super excited to be here, and uh, have a great day, everyone.
Thank you so much, Maria, for the introduction and opening remarks as well here. Like I told you before, we're now going to jump and discover what is happening in the Nordic side of the world. We have three presentations, three, uh, three keynote speakers here. So, and we're going to actually kick up with going to Sweden. Uh, so David Olgart, uh, he's the director of Cyber Campus of Sweden, and he is going to tell us about Cyber Campus and its role in Swedish cybersecurity. So let's see what's happening in, in Sweden. And I'm happy to ask David to join me here on stage. Thank you. Good morning, all. Distinguished guests, Maria, fellow speakers, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor uh, to have been invited to Cybercation this year to present to you the background to and the way ahead for Swedish agile and cutting edge cybersecurity research, innovation, and education. My name is David Olgart. I am the di director of Cyber Campus Sweden, a newly established triple helix center of excellence that aims to strengthen Sweden's resilience in the cyber domain. Before being appointed to be the director of Cyber Campus, I spent more than 25 years in the Swedish defense sector, working with information security, IT security, and cybersecurity, as well as having been responsible for directing and coordinating research and technology development for Sweden's military cyber defense. Enough about me. So, how did we end up where we are? I guess you all are familiar uh, with the never-ending cybersecurity challenge that we have been facing ever since the beginning of the computer age. We are continuously being haunted by new critical security updates and patches. It has proved to be a really hard problem to build and secure software and hardware over time even though the big software uh, and hardware companies employ tens of thousands of engineers and security experts, they are still not able to produce solutions without inherent security holes. Also, the bad guys are re recurrently able to find and utilize glitches in our systems landscape that needs to be patched. We are still trying to solve how to set up and manage accounts in a secure way over time so that we can be sure who is who and who has a right to access what, when and from where, so that our information and system resources are safe all the time. It happens all the time that credentials are leaked and misused. When was the last time you checked if you had been pawned? <laughs> 